This one's a sad one. Stellantis lays off another 1,100 folks at a Michigan plant, and they're closing down their Arizona proving grounds. Uh, so this is actually some moderately good news. The expectation was almost 2,500 workers yes, yes. were going to get laid off, um, but only 1,100 have been laid off. But we've got more layoffs happening at Stellantis, who is obviously struggling to make money. Not a really good, really, you've got to be kidding me, unfortunately. No, the, uh, the the part about that article that I found more interesting was actually the proving grounds. I, I remember when when I had my Golf USA franchise in Mesa, Arizona, and and the store was about three miles from at that time GM's proving ground in Mesa, Arizona. I had a lot of customers at my golf store mm-hmm. that were engineers that worked at at the uh, proving grounds. And and so I was brought in as a, uh, as a visitor, a guest one day, and we drove uh, the proving grounds were huge. Mm -hmm. And, you know, obviously you could do a lot of heat testing and desert testing. And they had all different types of roads set up. And we had a, a a banked oval that we took a Cadillac Alante convertible out on, which was really fun. But, But I remember saying to the engineer, I said, how come they don't put this stuff in their TV ads? Why don't they show people how they actually test their vehicles so that, I don't know, you could you could convince people that, well, you're really trying real hard. And, and, and you know, and the proving grounds are really interesting. They, I think, eventually closed that down and moved it to Mexico. Um, obviously Stellantis is closing the one that they have or selling the one that they have in, in Arizona and making arrangements to utilize one of Toyota's proving grounds that they have out there. But my, my point is, is that proving grounds for anybody that would ever have the opportunity to visit, it is just one of the most incredible things you could ever experience. So why do you um, think they're why are you, why do you think they're um why do you think they're closing it down to save money? Yeah, of course. You know, I mean, yeah. how much money does it make them? Uh, probably not anything at all. Um, so it's only the, their program. I think was staffed by sixty seven or sixty nine people. Um, but you know, you keep those engineers and everybody on. It costs you money. You're you're yeah. not. You know, they they can look at it and they go, well, the real estate has costs. There's property taxes. There's this. There's that. It's not making us money. Yeah, we can we can rent what we need from Toyota. Um, Zach, is it true? I've heard a rumor that you could save two hundred fifty dollars on a CarEdge extended warranty for your new car. Go to CarEdge.com/warranty. Between now and November fourth, we're offering a two hundred and fifty dollars promotion. Take advantage of that today. So it is true, but truly, it is. If anybody ever has an opportunity to visit an automobile manufacturer's proving grounds whether it be one of the ones in the desert Southwest or there are certain ones in the, in the upper Midwest that for winter. Yeah. It's just, it, it is really a fascinating experience to see and be able to, to participate in some of the ways that they test these vehicles, uh, the potholed roads, the dusty roads, the just, yeah. just the, the vehicles that they would just sit out and let them burn in in the sun you know just yep because they they wanted to make sure the paint would it it was really fascinating i didn't think we were going to get four minutes on proving grounds but i know you've got a passion for that and i'll uh i'll keep that in mind when your next birthday rolls around but there you go stellantis laying off more folks closing down proving ground go for it the best i'm telling you the best part was in that cadillac alante convertible going i don't know we were doing about 120 130 on the banked oval and it was it was it was pretty fascinating you know i enjoyed that hyundai recalls 1568 hydrogen vehicles in the u.s for gas leak okay um, well, you know, it, I mean, where where are they all in California? Dude, I mean, no, dude, like this is this is this is like the worst, you know, worst possible headline. Po- I mean, obviously, hydrogen fuel powered vehicles yeah. are probably not going to be the thing, right? We know that at this point. But you know, oh, yeah. gas leaks are serious. Could you? I mean, this is this is bad. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. It's not good, but you know, I mean, where? 
Wait, wait. How, I mean, a whole 1,568. This will now give them a reason to close down their uh, hydrogen division. They don't need it. Nobody wants the damn things to begin with. And and you're really limited as to where you can go fuel the vehicle up. So I know. I just did. It's just when I saw the headline, I was like, really? you got to be kidding me. Like, gas leaks are scary and bad. Yeah. Now, yeah. now the, the poor 1,568 people that bought a Hyundai Nexo between 2019 and 2024, well, now they've got a gas leak potentially in their car. Like, that's oh my just... God. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I feel bad for them. Maybe, may, you know, maybe they'll give them, may, maybe they'll do like a lemon law buyback or something. Who knows? Who, who knows? 